Generic greetings and welcome to Conduct Deluxe. Today's beverage is a nice hearty meaty bovril which is perfect for a day like today when it's quite cold outside and we're gonna be playing on a cold map anyway so it's all quite apt so this is a game that someone sent me a code for and said hey it's a game about conducting trains do you want to give it a go and I thought yeah and that's why we're here I don't really need another excuse for that oh you also might be thinking why is the channel quite train heavy as of late well here's my secret it's always been about the trains anyway let's go for the second level because that should give you an idea on what the game is like so we'll click forest pavilion actually no is this the first one uh, I'm guessing it's I'm guessing this one here forest pavilion so we'll load this up and I'll show you what the game is like so what happens is a train will turn up as you can see and it'll choo you along and then it'll go to a station and what happens is the people jump on the train it changes color to show red and then it goes to another station so you're picking up passengers and you have to drop them off at the corresponding station so red needs to go to red and so forth so you can see we've got another train coming along and I'm gonna have to click on oh dear oh dear what happened there well the train that came out here crashed into the back of the other one which is suboptimal the idea is that we have to stop and start the train and we can do that by clicking on it so I can click on the train there and it stops and then click on it again and it starts we've also got some suicidal or maverick bus drivers which will happily drive across the tracks or to be fair maybe not their fault should there should be some sort of signage or points there and whatnot some barriers to stop them anyway let's just continue on and then that goes across there and what we'll do is we'll stop oh, we won't be able to stop that that's fine no need to and this is going to continue along and yes the trains can hit each other on the these cross sections here we are going to stop that just for a second so we don't hit the side of the bus and we'll stop that just for a second make sure we get some delay on that one there and the idea is that we need to get a certain number of passengers to each station so we have to get 50 passengers and ooh dear oh dear I clicked the wrong train let's try that again so we've got that train going in there another one will come along do the same there so we need 50 passengers we've got zero or 50 so far and we have a countdown as well so you do get a grading based on how good you do it you're also gain some uh, some gold coins doing this because this, this is after all a mobile port I believe which means you know everything has to be nice shiny gold coins and so forth that's very very close and then we'll, <laughs> we'll uh, stop the train there that's fine and that will come along and yep that's choo chewing along quite nicely now some maps will generate more trains as well you'll get trains coming along where you'll have to uh you'll have to start managing more than one well we, we've got two now now but what i mean you'll, you'll get ones where you'll the train will come along every sort of every sort of couple of laps so you'll start getting more and more and more trains which is um not at all handy if you're trying to uh, win the map because things crash into each other more. So there we go, there is a level complete. We've got a total of 53 out of 50 passengers and we did it with, uh, what, did we do it in 22 seconds or is there 22 seconds remaining? Either way, it's in the green which is a three star rating and then we'll click continue and job done. So we go to this map here and that's what the game is like. So let's just try the next map and then we'll jump onto some harder ones and each, each area has a different theme. So train comes in, Pick that up, and we got another one coming in as well. And oh, we've got a we've got a freight train coming in, and obviously we don't want to crash into that, so we need to just slow it down a bit. And there we go. So we're managing these trains going along, and what we'll have to do is make sure that we don't either hit this thing or it doesn't hit us. So let's just pause these. Actually, we'll only pause that one. This can go now. They do have a they do have a soft start and stop, so they don't just go immediately to full acceleration. The trains, so you have to account for that as well. Um, let's just pause that and pause that one and then unpause that one and then give that a little bit of leeway and then continue on So these are the very first levels very very simple and easy quite honestly But uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to get a high rating and there we go now again Ooh. Another one that was uh, quite easy so continue all right, so that's some of the basics. Let's go onto this map and we'll go for um, Eastville Logging. We'll try this one out, and I'm just trying different ones. So as I said, oh, now we've got points. Now this is where things can get a little bit difficult because what will happen is the train will follow on a point, and oh dear, oh dear, as you can see, we've got the uh, freight train coming along, and we've had a bit of a clue. Ooh, that's just that that just went all kinds of wrong. So I'm going to pause it for a second. Essentially what happens is the trains will follow these points. So that will go straight ahead and then it will go this way. So obviously we've got a freight train coming down. We want that to go from this tunnel and then out there. We don't want it going along these passenger lines because, well, we can do it once. But it means that we then have a nightmare trying to route it back onto the other, other area. So what I'll do is I'll unpause it. 
I went until this one goes in here, and then I'll click on there. What is annoying is your mouse will default, like if I pause it about there, your mouse will default onto the train rather than the point. Alright, so it means if you want to switch the points there, you can't when the train's over. It would be nice if the game made it so right click would always change points and left click would change the train. That would be very, very nice. I don't know if there's an option like that. I've had a quick look and I couldn't see anything like that. But, um, you know, when you're trying to say switch this point and there's a train over it like that, you can't. So it can become a little bit frustrating at times. Like I say, it would be really, really nice if left click would always activate the train and right click would activate the points. But um, hey ho, you can't have everything. But just be a nice little, uh, a nice little feature, I think. Just nice little um, quality of life improvement, I believe. Either way, we're just going to keep switching these. Hopefully, we can beat the. No, we're not going to risk that. We're not going to risk this train here coming along. That's another logging, and then we'll, we'll pause that moving along. But you can see we've got two different types of uh, passengers now. We've got the uh, red passengers and the blue passengers, and we managed to complete that in um, three stars as well. Excellent. Continue. So, job done. Uh, you can change your train. Let's go to the HQ, and there we go. we got some different trains. So, we've got the Class A4 Mallard from Great Britain, uh, 1938. We've got the North what, the North Play Type 1, which is from Denmark from 2016. Very modern train. And then we've got the NS Varim from the Netherlands, 1994. Obviously, we're going to go with the steam train because it's got a like, nice character. Not that the others don't have character, you understand, just I prefer that one. Okay, so, we got Snow Problem here. This is a, one I've not uh, actually played yet. So, 70 passengers, 80 seconds to do it, and let's try it out. So, we've got, looks like, two trains and a lot of suicidal lorries, and... Okay, so I will pause it immediately and have a quick check. So, it looks like... We are only on red passengers, so let's pick up there, drop off there, pick, well, pick up all of these. So we'll need to not only dodge the lorries, we'll also have to dodge the each other. So what I'll do is I will unpause it. I'll stop this moving. This can come along. There you go. Pause it there. Probably be able to unpause that one, get that going. There we are. Get a little bit delay. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, okay. So you have to be extremely focused in order to... Misclicked on that one. Um, you might be thinking, is it really this difficult? Yes, it sort of is. Um, I'm going to pause that and pause that one because there's so many of these ones. So I'm going to wait. That can go there. And then unpause it. That'll come down. Pause that one for the time being. Pause that one. No. Unpause that one. That's coming along nicely. And pause that one. Unpause that one. That can come along there. That goes along there. Okay. Not doing too bad the time being. That can get across before the suicidal trucks. That can move as well. But then we'll pause it there so it can come round. But you don't want to leave the back end um, hanging around there. Because otherwise you'll have a big problem. Pause that one. Pause that one. See, I can understand there why you would always want to focus on the train. Because otherwise you'll have a massive problem with the points being changed instead of the train stopping. That's why I think a left and right click thing would be quite useful. Um, we're not going to get that train across before the coaches, so we're not even going to try and... We're not even going to risk it. And that should be a completion. So that is not the highest grade. Two stars, but we did manage to complete it after the odd train crashing into each other and so forth. But hey-ho. Um, so there's that done. We've now got a close call, which is 100 passengers. And we've got uh, quite a while to do it in three different stations here. So this is going to be uh, a bit difficult. So that's going to be... This is going to be... What? What's this? This is going to be yellow passengers. So that has to go that way. There we go. And this is red passengers. Which will drop off there. So we've got three different ones to deal with now. That's blue passengers. So that has to go that way. That has to go that way. And you know what? I have a feeling that we're going to get another train coming in. Oh, what a nightmare. Um, I have no idea how to deal with this one. <laughs> chaos. Absolute chaos. I don't really know <laughs> where to go from here. Okay. Hmm. It does require some amount of zen. 
So that goes that way, that goes that way. Pause that train, unpause that one. That one goes to red. This one goes to yellow, but it'll stop there first. The other one, I could just stop right at the start, to be honest with you, and not bother with it too much. Um, I'm going to pause that one. This can go that way. Unpause that one. This will come down, and that's fine. And there's the other train. I'm just going to stop it. I just don't care about that train now. I don't want it on my line. Um, and that one can go that way. We'll pause that train there. Unpause that one. The problem we might have is that another train might come along after a while, and that would be bad, and it would crash into the back of that, because you can't, you can't like, order the trains. It doesn't work that way. And, ooh, that was a close shave. There we go. I'm hoping another one doesn't come along, and if it doesn't, we should have this all right, unless I totally mess it up, which is, is after all, completely possible. Ooh, that would nearly clip the back end of that train. <laughs> uh, we're okay there so far. 51 of 100 passengers. There's some more yellow ones. We're just going to pause that one there. Unpause that one. That's going to come along. Obviously, we do have to loop round and such. And the maps are made so that they all have different themes and takes on it so you've got points you've got uh the previous map to this was a bit a lot based on tunnels and random bits that you couldn't see and i really did not like that i didn't like that you couldn't see a lot of what was going on there but uh, you know I, un I understand that there's a different theme there and oh no i was so close oh i clicked just like a couple of milliseconds before it should have done and and there we go Okay, I'm not going to try that again because, quite honestly, you've seen that. And I think you sort of get the game. I don't think there's any big surprises there. That is Conductor Lux. Uh, there's a bit of building. Hang on, I'll show you a little bit of this. It exists, right? I haven't... I've, I've literally, like, had a look at this one and went, Oh, yeah, you can you can build trains and... Uh, sorry, you can build um different, different, like, stations and such. And make your own map and stuff like that. That's all it's about. I've, I've not made a proper map or anything it is what it is you know um but just understand that it exists bulldoze everything and bang there you go so you can make your own scenarios and such if you really wanted to not something i'm interested in but it's good that it's there and as you can see in terms of well in terms of how much i've played i think i've played about 50 minutes now 50 minutes to an hour and i've only done these couple up to there and there's a lot more so you've got well you've got loads of different ones and they're all the they start going they start off fairly sensible and then we're getting on like portals and stuff and all different things but i understand that you know more content more better so yeah well maybe that maybe that is not the case but either way that's what um, we've got there these chests by the way they unlock different trains as you progress on and you can once you get a certain number of coins you can go to the edge there and unlock different ones but that's a uh, conductor looks it's um it's not too bad at all I quite like it. It's um, it's quite Moorish. I does have that just one more try feeling. Um, in fact, that's one thing that one knock against it. I must confess, and this is a general thing. I just I really do not like the the games. Steam page says, you know, fun and addictive, blah, 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 blah. Okay, can we... I know the term addictive is not indicative of negativity, as in it's not always used in a negative context. Like, you could say, I'm addicted to making myself and people around me better people. That's that's okay, that's a positive, but most connotations are how the term addictive is. It's a negative, right? Can we stop trying to turn it around and make it a positive? If you use addictive, right, that's not a generally a good thing, and I don't know why games especially um, have marketed as that. Yeah, use the word Moorish, use... use something else you know engaging anything else but that term please because it's um it ain't good mini rant over either way it's okay i quite like it don't know how much more i'll be playing um i think it's going to be uh, it's going to get to a point where it's far too uh, co not complicated but like much too fast paced for my liking um but it's about trains so i thought we'd try it out and i am pleasantly surprised either way links are in the description so you can check it out yourself maybe it's for you maybe it's not either way you do you and uh, all the details are there thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video take care and generic partings